When everything fails, his word prevails. When nothing is working, his word prevails. May God's word prevail over your situation and circumstances. May God's word prevail over sickness in your life. May God's word prevail over oppression in your life. May God's word prevail over poverty in your life. May God's word prevail over failure in your life. May the word of God prevail over marital crisis in your life. May God's word prevail over financial matters in your life. The word of God is the ultimate. In fact, the Bible says that God watches over his words to perform it. God's word is potent. God's word is powerful. God's word is almighty. The word of the Lord is perfect. It converts the soul. What I was 15 years ago is not what I am today. What I was five years ago is not what I am today. Thanks to the word, it improved me. Five things we ought to do about the word we read the word we hear the word we meditate on the word we practice the word and we declare the word not all believers are disciples yet all disciples are believers the only way you can upgrade to become disciples is to continue in my word so the problem we have in church is that we have plenty of believers but few disciples continuity in the word through hearing through reading through meditation through practicing and declaring is what jesus referred to as continue in the word how many people have left the church because of us how many people have left the church and left the ministry because of our character because of our lifestyle because of what we do why will your neighbor want to follow you to church when you beat your wife every morning they hear the noise and the sound of arguments and and rancor and fighting they hear it in the mornings they hear it in the night how would you think they will follow you to church one of the first profound evidence that you are filled with the holy spirit is not first of all speaking in tongues it's in goodness so it was this barnabas who now went to tarsus and looked for saul and brought him out of obscurity i am praying for someone under the sound of my voice may god raise a barnabas for you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth someone that will pull your hands up someone that will help you to limelight someone that will help bring the gift of god in you someone that will help showcase the gift of god in your life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth say lord send me a barnabas one more time say father send me a barnabas in the name of jesus and everybody shout amen. amen may god send you a barnabas i say may god send you a barnabas so barnabas went and plucked him out of obscurity brought him out of the cage out of hiding out of background and brought him to limelight this was where paul's ministry started to have expression it was one man god used his name barnabas may god raise you a barnabas May God bring a Barnabas your way. Not only in ministry, but also in business, in career, also in life generally. May God give you a Barnabas. Someone who will bring you out of obscurity. Someone who will encourage you. Someone who would recognize the call and the anointing and the gift and the talent of God in you. Your ability and give you platform, give you expression. May God send them your way in Jesus name that's who barnabas was i don't know how old you are now but every power that wants to die in obscurity may god neutralize those powers in the name of jesus christ of nazareth say i won't die in obscurity say i'm coming to limelight say my gift will find expression say my calling will find expression say i will fulfill my destiny in the mighty name of jesus I prophesy over your life you will fulfill destiny you won't die in obscurity you are coming to limelight in the name of Jesus 
you are loose from Tarsus. <laughs> you didn't hear me. I said you are loose from Tarsus. You are loose from Tarsus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said to you now come out of Tarsus. Come to limelight. Come out of the cave. Come to a platform. Come to the spotlight. No power will keep you behind. No power will keep you on ground. You are loose from Tarsus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Barnabas in marketplace. Who will source for you and see your gift? May God send them your way. Barnabas in business world. Barnabas is in ministry. Who will let your gift die? Barnabas who believe in you. I pray for someone here who has experienced closed doors. They shut the door against you. In business, in ministry, in life, doors are shut again. Nobody believes you. They have tarnished your image or integrity. Today, may God raise you a Barnabas. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, raise me a Barnabas. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God raise you a Barnabas. Someone who will stick out their neck stick out their integrity someone who will put their life on the line on your behalf Barnabas's ministry produced more Christians than thieves God give us teachers of the word God give us the word God give us lovers of the word God give us love for your word Lord make us love your word give us passion for your word the omnipotent word that converts, that changes, that transforms the word that breaks, makes, burns, the word that builds, the word that heals, that delivers the omnipotent word. Are you depressed? Read the word, hear the word, meditate on the word. Is the antidote for depression? The word is spiritual food. The word is food for the soul. The word is the antidote to depression, antidote to attacks, antidote to fear, antidote to panic. We are preserved through the word. We survive by the word. We are kept by the word. The word keeps you. The word preserves you. The word upholds you. Everything is above the word.